this is Sephora Alexander Paradise Pulse. We're here at the Pungalungs factory owned by DJ Big Rich. Just about to jump into an interview with none other than Ricky Jai. Your name is really Samraj Jai Mangal. Where did the name Ricky come from? Ricky is actually my my home name, and mm -hmm. um, Jai, you know, is from my uh, from my surname. Mm -hmm. um, it was coined together by uh, the guy who produced my first song, Kenny Phillips. Okay. When I was um, coming out into the business, I was mm -hmm. looking for a name. I was I was thinking of using Sammy J. Mm -hmm. um, Ricky J, uh, all kind of different <laughs> things, and uh, he said no, no, you, that 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 thing will work. <laughs> and um, he said, um, I think Ricky J sounds a whole lot better for you mm -hmm. as a new artist coming out, and, and that's actually how I got the name Ricky J. Yeah, that's quite catchy, just yeah. at the tip of your lips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in 1988, you stormed the national scene with your song Sumintra. And a lot of people criticized you for singing this song because uh, they claimed that it was uh, causing people to turn away from Indian music. Do you have any regrets about singing Sumantra? Um, well, well, first of all, I, I don't think it was a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I think it, it was um, a, a minority. Sometimes um, my, uh, a couple of people making noise tends to look like a lot. Mm -hmm. But um, if we look back 25 years ago at what I was doing when I released Sumantra, I don't. I don't think that the uproar was that great. Mm -hmm. And if we look at what has transpired from then to now, and we look at the amount of East Indian um, entertainers that are now enjoying um, uh, what I would say a piece of the pie, you know, musically in Trinidad and Tobago, yes. then I, I don't think I did anything wrong. As an East Indian or Indo Trinidadian, I I believed then and I believe now. That you know this culture that is Trinidad and Tobago, it's unique to anyone that is born here, mm -hmm. and uh, whether you're East Indian, African, Chinese, or otherwise, it's it's yours, it's yours, and that's really what I was trying to bring across at the time, um, not to convince or try to move anyone from listening or enjoying, a, you know, a particular type of music. Of course, we live in a cosmopolitan society, yeah. and uh, as such, we should be able to embrace the whole of mix, the whole amalgamation of cultures that there is in Trinidad. So, fast forwarding to 2015, a lot of people were surprised that you worked with Ravi B even after what happened in 2011 at the Chutney Soka Monarch competition. How did that come about? Well, you know, I. Um I worked with Ravi even before 2011. Mm -hmm. We had done a collaboration together, and um, you know w what happened in 2011. I never really held it against him, you know. Um, as a matter of fact, we um, I think became better friends, um, mm -hmm. and I, I think that um, as musicians we we became closer post 2011. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people were not. Um, might not be privy to the fact that Ravi has done the music for Barman, he's done the music for White Oak and Water, he's done the music wow. for Johnny Walker, <laughs> he's done okay. the music for Entino, he's been part of most of the productions that I do at the Pungalungs factory. Mm -hmm. So uh, Ravi does 90% of the background vocals on most of my songs. Mm -hmm. So um, working with Ravi um, in 2015 wasn't as hard as the you know John Public might perceive it to be. In fact, it was a very, very um, uh, smooth, ongoing process of what we were already doing. Okay, so there was never any bad blood between you and Ravi. I am. I am not one. I am not a person to to, to say, um, you know, um, have a monkey on my back mm -hmm. to speak in a local parlance. You know, um, you know things happen in life, and um, I believe that it is not up to me to to tote that on my back to tote any sort of ill feelings. Because, you know, what I've learned in life is that it's it's easier to go forward with less luggage on your back. That's true. So the less the less things that you you, you, you carry on your back while you while you're looking to move forward, the easier the journey forward is. So, um, 
you, you know, I, I live in a sort of a, a environment with, with most musicians where I really have no ill feelings. Mm -hmm. And even if though, even I might, um, let's say, agree with everybody all of the time, mm -hmm. I am I am not, um, you know, I am not one to really hold grudges and that sort of thing with anybody. Okay, and that's a wonderful example for your fans. Um, I believe that they should follow in those footsteps and, you know, embrace that kind of success that you have uh, achieved thus far. So, we know that you collaborated with Marshall Montano on your hit song, Moto, mm -hmm. and um, we'd like to know, do you plan on collaborating with Marshall or Bungie or any other soca artist in the future? Collaborations are, are you know, are the thing of the day. You know, everybody's collaborating, the world is collaborating. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a collaboration is a very unique um, effort between uh, one artist, two artists, or you know, a couple of artists. Um, sometimes a song just might not fit mm -hmm. with with, uh, with an artist. So I might I might call up Marshall and say, Hey Marshall, look, you know, I'm, I have this song, and you might listen to it and say, Ricky boy, I ain't really feeling that, you know. <laughs> Oh, I might call Bungie and Bungie will say, but you know, I, I really feel it that, you know. <laughs> and one has to be, um, you know, man enough and uh, mature enough in, in the industry to, to respect when an next artist says um, they're not really feeling to jump on a track or to, or to collaborate mm -hmm. on a track. As yeah. opposed to the first time Marshall heard Moto, mm -hmm. he was like, yes, I want to do that. <laughs> or, um, you know, I've collaborated with, with Sherwin Winchester, I've collaborated with other guys. So, it, it must be a mutual understanding, mm -hmm. and, it, and, and it's all about feel. It's all about, yeah, feeling this. Okay, and when you're feeling okay. it, then then I, I think the love will, will go into the, 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 the project, and the, and the love will go from the project to the audience. I see, I see. Why people um, come onto the Chutney artists and the Chutney industry, where rum songs are concerned, mm -hmm. um, as if you know the the, 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 the chutney industry has uh, is, is to be blamed for the rum culture. Mm 